components are much better than others. Though it is true, and uh, we will get that to you know, proven at the, uh, the climax of the talk, shall we say. Um, so yeah, fundamentally, it was a lie, it was a trick. There was no presentation. Um, I put it on the registration form, and then this is what happened. Jarvan ran with it. It was a hook. He used it for marketing. It wasn't planned, I just put it on there. And what it shows is, oh, and the ladies retweeted it, so very happy about that. Um, but it does show that words are powerful. Um, and as startup people, words can be very beneficial to you because you're all able to write. Um, sex sells as well, you know, that's always useful to know. So, words are free. You don't have to actually invest money in it, but you do have to invest your time. So, I believe that if you are going to start up a business, you have to be able to write, and you have to be able to write well. It's one of the key benefits that, that you have. It's one of the best things that you have going for you. It also, if you are able to write well, then it implies that you've actually figured out what your business is about. You've figured out what the core value proposition of your business is. So you have to learn how to pitch, you have to learn how to simplify your message, and then you'll be able to write it. So, people tend to think that they're not very good writers though. We all, you know, we think, yeah, there's a special way to write, but if you're able to write simply, if you're able to convey your simple message, then you'll be successful. So, the reason you can do this is because it's a craft. Now, does anyone know the difference between a craft and an art? Oh, too many hands, too many hands. Okay, let me, let me fight you all back. A craft is something that can be learned, okay? An art is something that is unique, can't really be taught, and uh, to some people it's seen at a much higher level. So there is literature that's like this, but for us guys, you can learn it. Learn your craft, practice your craft, and become a good writer. So, before you start writing though, you need a strategy, you need a content strategy, which is essentially, uh, you, you can read about this on the internet, there's lots of publications at the moment about content strategy, and that's because the channels for communicating are so uh, diverse now, you need to start thinking about how you actually communicate. So, don't worry, it's really quite simple, you just need to think about what you're going to actually write, uh, where are you going to place it, um, are you going to put it on your own website, are you going to syndicate it out to uh, another publication? Um, and then, once you've figured out what you're going to write, then you need to decide on a voice. If you're a technical product, who are you actually talking to? Do you want to become a domain expert within a field and write technical information to try and get some publicity for your product? Or is it for the customers who are actually going to buy the product? You may need to separa separate those two things out. So, you need three things in order to write. You need seduction, okay? You need to give people what they want. You need reduction, because less is more. We all know less is more. Write simply, write clearly. And the third thing you need is suction. No, you really don't. But you have to learn to kill your darlings, okay? So sometimes you think, okay, this is a good idea, I'll run with this. You get articles, the three things you need to know about blah, the ten things that you need to know about yada yada yada. Uh, but as you can see, sometimes it doesn't work. So, if you're writing something, it's coming quite well, but it's not tailing off very well, ditch it. So, here are my rules for writing. Stick to a voice, figure out who you're writing for. In every article, just convey one idea. If you're finding that it's becoming complex, then that's great. You've got two articles there. You've maybe even got a series of articles. Break it up into different articles. You just 
written you know your blog posts for the next month potentially so don't be afraid to to keep it simple people like simple stuff if you're you're teaching them stuff it's great um, we're often afraid that if we write very simply if we reduce the number of words in a sentence then people are going to think we're not actually the main experts it's not the case people generally appreciate really simple writing uh, is your blog the best place to put your content? Generally, if you're a startup, everyone has more traffic than you, okay? Don't hold on to all this content. Make sure it links back to you, but give your content and articles away freely, okay? Don't worry about the fact that someone else is getting the advertising revenue. Provided the links are coming back to your company and it's you that's being promoted, give it all away. Everyone else has more traffic than you. Publications, so in terms of um, press contacts that you've built up, don't be afraid of using them. Everyone is absolutely desperate for content. So just make sure you have a story and that you understand what news is. Uh, you know, version 1.798A has just been released. Isn't great news, but you know, if you're going to a, a new product, uh, then that's okay. Then, yeah, this one's definitely stolen. Um, there's no such thing as writing, just rewriting. So, when you start to put your ideas down in an article, continue to read it again and again and again before you publish it. A lot of people just hit publish and that's it. You must continue to read everything and make sure that you understand it, that other people understand it before you hit publish. So. Writing is everywhere, as we know. So once you have your content strategy, figure out how it fits in with social media, with Twitter, uh, even when you're doing presentations. Um, your product support, everything is writing. So once you have a consistent message, stick to it. You may have to adjust it slightly for social media, adjust it for tech support and so on, but you know, stick to it. So here we go. This is why iPad owners make better lovers. And based on the previous reaction, you got come on guys, you, you couldn't, you're gonna have to run with this. Jervin, I'm relying on you, baby. That's okay. So who wants to know why iPad owners make better lovers? Yay, well done. Okay. Let me hear you say yes. Yes! <laughs> Come on. <laughs> okay, fair enough. I'll let you away with that. I was pleased just to get one yes, that was good. So, it's because of this. And as you can see, I wrote this presentation today. Uh, not, not that you can tell, of course. This is Flipboard. And if you look at what it's doing, it's taking in uh, tweets, RSS, stuff like that. And it's just showing you a snippet. And it's given a, a visual representation of an awful lot of content. Now it's, it's, it's actually quite random. It, it pulls in uh, stuff from people that I follow on Twitter. But if you use this application and you, you sort of study the way that it, it presents stuff, you start to see what's, what um, actually sticks out. Um, headlines, images, and so on. Now, the people that wrote these articles and, um, and tweets, they weren't thinking it was going to appear in this context. So you're kind of out of control with your content. Um, most scientists say that it's actually a moustache that's the, the secret of being a better lover. Um, but that's, you know, that's just the advertising. That's the hook to get you in. But in actual fact, the real answer is time. So. Put time into your writing, invest, uh, invest time in becoming a better writer, and um, of course, study Flipboard. So, learn from it, and you can, you can benefit from it. So, you, you'll see what works in terms of content, because you're not having to look at the, the whole article. Now, if you can get to the point where your content sticks out, 
then your business is going to become successful. And of course, then you will have a lot more time to invest in your business and your love life. Voila.